In this Canva tutorial, I'm going to show you the best way to create gradient text. You might notice when you use your text tool here in Canva and you add some text out here, you go to change the color and you don't have gradients as an option. That's fine. We cannot change uh, the color of text that is editable to a gradient. So we need to figure out a different way to do it. To do that, I would suggest using a nice vector frame that has your custom piece of text. So to do that, we're gonna to have to use Figma. Now, the link for Figma is down below. It's a free software to do what we're doing. So if you click that link and sign up, you're gonna be taken to probably this page-ish here on Figma. Now, if you don't have the desktop app, you'll be in the browser version and that's totally fine. But in the upper right hand side, we'll see a design file or add a design file. So we're gonna create a new Figma file. It's okay if you've never used this program before. All you need to know is that up here is a T icon and that is the text tool. We can click out here and type some text. I'm gonna type the word gradient in all caps. Now this is a little bit small. So what we can do is edit the text size over here on the right hand side. While we have gradient, that piece of text selected, we can actually change the font over here. I also have an adding fonts video. So if you wanna be able to add all of your system fonts, uh, there's a tutorial on that on the channel. But you can add a font, you can adjust the, uh, what do you call it, the different styles of the font. And then you can also adjust the size, right? So you can bring that up. You can kind of click between here and click and drag to uh, make adjustments to that point size. If I can actually click in the right spot, uh, apparently I cannot. Okay, there we go. I got it. So we can click and drag to uh, increase that font size, okay? So now we have this piece of text out here and it says gradient. What we need to do is add a photo or a fake photo to this text. It's super easy here in Figma. On the right hand side, we have a fill layer. Right now we're fill, or fill attribute. Right now we're filling it with white. We click on that. And instead of color, we come over here and select an image. And so now we have this checkerboard pattern, which is kind of like a fake image that's inside there. It's actually a placeholder image. That's what it's called. So now what we can do is make sure we have our gradient piece of text selected and come down to the lower right. And we're going to go to export. We need to change the export file type from PNG to PDF and we'll export that PDF. So we're exporting this asset that will become our frame in Canva. So we're going to export this. Now, if you're on the browser version of Figma, it's probably going to just download it right to your downloads folder. And that's fine. That's where it's going to go. If you're on the desktop version, uh, which is pretty easy to get to, you can uh, just rename it here. So this might be gradient test three is what I'm going to name it. Uh, and this is a PDF into my downloads folder. Hit save. So now we go back over to Canva. Inside of Canva, on the left-hand side, we'll go to Uploads, Upload Files, and then we're gonna find that PDF that we exported, so Gradient Test 3. I'm gonna open that up, and it's gonna to start to upload. On the left-hand side, we'll see a Projects folder where it just uploaded, and we can see here, we have Gradient Test 3 PDF. I'm gonna drag that out into my design, and there's two pieces with this. Number one is a text layer, that we'll just hit the delete key on, get rid of. Number two is the frame. And so this frame still has that placeholder image attached. If we right click it and go to detach image, it gets rid of that and separates it. So we can just delete that. Also as a quick shortcut, you can actually just click on this frame and press the delete key. That will also just get rid of that image. Either way, we get to this, which is a frame that we can add a gradient to. So you can see that we have text. Right now it's just that frame image in the background. In the upper left, we can actually go to color. And then inside of color, we can select gradients now. So we can select this gradient, for instance, and we can actually go in and add a new gradient uh, swatch here. We can make adjustments. Do we want it to be centered from one corner? We can adjust the gradient colors, even adding more colors or select from any one of these presets down here. Super easy. Now this works like any other object in Canva that you can add gradient to. It's also nice and crisp because it's a vector frame that never loses quality. This is not an image we're adding a gradient to. This is an actual vector element that is text. 
And so we're able to use Figma to create that text, export it as a PDF, and then remove the image here and add a gradient in. Let's see if this little border style works. It might not work. I'm going to check this out. So we're going to put a line around it. Oh, look at that. We can actually put a border around the text as well. So if there's something you wanted to do there as far as um, like putting a line around the edge of the text, you can do that too. I wasn't sure if it was going to just do a square around the text box or actually put lines around the letters. That's pretty cool. That's how you can create gradient text here in Canva.